boy is electric. Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. Um, today I wanted to share with you a little trip that I'm doing. I'm off out to fly my new drone. I've bought a DJI Mavic Air 2S. The video is not about the drone, but I've upgraded from the Mini and I want to go and fly it. It comes with a little strip about this sort of long and you plug three batteries into it. I've got the combo kit, so you have the three batteries along the strip. And it comes with a three pin plug to plug in. So at home, it's brilliant for charging. But while out, if I need to recharge the batteries, these batteries will come in really handy. These portable storage generators, power stations that I've got. Um, so I've got a choice of three here. Um, this is my drone, the Air 2S, move that out of the way. So we've got um, an EcoFlow Delta Mini here, quite a big one. We've got a Bluetti EB55, but this is the one I'm actually going to pick up and take. I'm just charging a light on it. But this one is um, really, really handy. It's just a grab handle at the back. It's really small and light. It will easily go in the backpack. And it does have three pin socket on it as well. It can take up to 300 watts. It's perfect for charging the drone. So this is the perfect one to take. I could take this one but it's two handles, it's quite heavy, it's quite industrial, it's for more powerful tools. I could take this one with one handle, still it's a bit more heavy, it's got more power than I need, I just don't need quite as big today. Today, the small one is all I need, so that's what I'm gonna take out to help fly my drone. So I thought I'd give you a quick review of this, the EcoFlow River Mini. This is the Delta Mini, this one's the River Mini, so smaller. Spec-wise, these are in different leagues, the um, Delta Mini and the River Mini. Um, this will handle 1400 watts before it uses the X-Boost capability and up to like two kilowatts of power using the X-Boost. So this is a really beefy system and it's got uh, two three-pin sockets on the back, loads more connections, it can take 300 watts of solar. This little one only has the USBs on the front, has the 12 volt socket and it has the uh, single three pin and it can do 300 watts continuous. So it's a lot less power than this one. It's also a lot less capacity. This one's 850 watt hours, so 0.85 kilowatt hours. This one's only 0 0.2, 0 0.22, something like that. So a lot less capacity. I think that equates to 54,000 milliamp hours. So it's just a big power bank really, but it's got the inverter inside. To use the three pin plugs are really really handy you know two tenths of a kilowatt hour is not a lot of power but it's enough to power a laptop it's enough to charge a couple of phones it's enough to charge a couple of tablets it's enough to charge the drone batteries so it's enough plus also in here if i can open it up dc connection this can go on solar. So even though it's a nice little small compact device, if I really wanted to, I could have a portable solar panel on it, up to 100 watts of solar input onto this, as well as the 200 watt hours storage capacity, it means it'll actually last longer than you think. This also has the X-Boost capability, so it can power things up to, I think it's 600 watts. So yeah, it's not every type of device, but a heating element of some sort of sort so a slow cooker anything above the 300 watts it'll still it'll still power it so this is quite a powerful little system i can even make my cup of coffee with my coffee maker on this because that's under 600 watts so a very good capable system but it's the portability that i want today it's really really light and really handy so that's what i'm after today if I was on a longer trip and I needed more power and I needed more capacity and I wanted to charge on up to 300 watts of solar, then this beefy Delta Mini is the beast to take. But yeah, it is more of a beast. You're going to want to cart it somewhere, leave it there and uh, more of a power station. This is definitely the more portable system. Really, really handy. The thing I like about this River Mini since uh, I've got it, it's got the same sort of casing. It's the same sort of robust, solid feel. This Delta Mini feels really professional and solid made. Well, actually, so does this River Mini. It looks and feels exactly the same. The screen interface is exactly the same. The, everything about them, there's a lot of design similarities to them. So you've got the connections on one side of the Delta Mini, and then you've got the inputs on this side and the three pin plugs. And it's the same with this one. You've got the USBs on one side with the screen and the DC, but it's then on the other side, you've got the three pin. So it's very similar in its design makeup. And also this does connect to the online app again. So the same as this Delta Mini, you can connect this to an app and you control things, control them on and off. You control the charging rates. You can tr control quite a few things on the app using this as well. So it's a really handy unit, but again, 
This time, when I'm going out, it's the size that matters. So that's why I'm going to choose the smallest, least capable system, because it's the most portable. The great thing is that now I've got three of them. It's which one do I need? How much power do I need? How much portability do I need? And if I don't quite need either, then this one might, might be the ideal solution. But it also depends perhaps on how much solar panels I've got. If I've got solar panels, the portable ones, they're 100 watts each, and this one takes 100 watts, this one takes 200 watts, this one takes 300 watts. So depending on how much solar I've got, you've got the right system for it. So I really like all these different storage batteries. But yeah, this is the perfect one for drones today. So I'm going off out to try this now. Right, so I've got, got myself outside, I've got my uh, EcoFlow River Mini with me, so uh, just need to plug in the batteries. So I've got a couple of spare batteries for the drone. They connect on this charging bar. And then somewhere in here is a plug, so a three pin plug into the River Mini. Adapter on. Power the device on. It says it's at 94%. Just wait a few moments after turning the sockets on at the side and it should start charging the two drone batteries. So while that's working, I can get the drone out and uh, set it up ready to fly. Great thing about having something like this, the uh, River Mini is because it's got the USB sockets on the front. So these USBs here as well and the power supply here uh, for the three pin socket. I can be charging lots of things. So if I'm out, I don't know, say I'm gonna have a drink and something to eat out at the same time, I can be charging the controller, I can be charging my mobile phone, I can be charging my tablet, I can be charging everything up and the batteries. Or if I'm flying, while I'm flying, they could be charging something else up. You've got so many connections to it and so much power, there's enough to do it. Um, that's why I've chosen this one to come out in the garden with me today that there's enough power here to keep me here and keep everything powered up. Whereas if I brought one of the bigger ones, yeah, there's more power, but you've got to lug it around. And if I was going to go out, I want to go and do some flying over at the broads and uh, send the drone over the broads and have a look. And to do that, I think this uh, River Mini is going to be the perfect device. It says it's charging 53 watts. So I'm using 53 watts and it can last four hours. It tells you on the screen how many hours at that rate of power. So the more power I use, the more the hours will go down. It tells you how long it will last. So I could be charging a laptop, my tablet, my phone, everything really. So I don't want this to sound too salesy because uh, you know I'm not really into promotional videos. EcoFlow have sent me this uh, River Mini for free. I've agreed to do a video, an unbiased video of my thoughts on it and uh, compare it to the Delta Mini that they sent me previously. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I, like I say, I hope it doesn't sound too salesy, but I, I really like these EcoFlow ones and it's, it's the fact that they do the full range from something as portable and as light as this and lower power to the really big beefy one. So there's a battery there for all of your needs. That's really good, but it's the rugged design. This is, I mean, it's on now and charging, but I don't feel like it's delicate. I don't feel like the plastic's tinny. You know, I'm not really frightened if I, I don't know about drop it from a height, etc. but it's quite rugged and uh, it's got rubber feet on there. So it's going to sit really still in uh, on a flat surface or on a table. It's just a very functional, very practical device. And out of the other batteries I've seen, uh, my understanding of the specs is that these EcoFlow ones output a little bit more power for the size of battery than others. So because of the X-Boost capability with this, this will put out um, nearly as much as a battery storage system that's probably twice the price of this. So you get a lot of power for the money that you're paying. And the same for the input charging. In fact, this has got 100 watt solar capability and it only charges um, on AC at a couple of hundred watts, but it's a small battery. So um, it's doing really well. I like the specs of these for the price. They're really, really good. But again, I chose this one to come out with today because of its portability. Right, anyway, I'm gonna get on with flying the drone and then uh, we'll finish the video off in a few minutes.
that's me done so I'm now just going to put it all away I don't know what the audio is going to come out like on this. The RAF are up there today and uh, making a bit of noise. So uh, hopefully the microphone uh, filters that out and you can just hear me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying coming out in the fresh air, flying the drone and having power out with me. Um, I just thought I'd do a short video sharing with you this little portable storage battery, which kicks a bit of a punch. I'm really enjoying it. It's just right for drones. So if you've got a drone and you need a bit of power, I'd go online and have a look at those. I really do enjoy it. And again, sorry for it sounding a bit salesy, but uh, I guess that's what I'm doing. I'm sharing with you what my thoughts are, and I really like this one. So I hope you do too. Take care. See you again soon for more videos. Bye for now. Gotta say, all this packing and unpacking of this damn drone, the Air 2S in this little bag, it's a great, it's a great little drone, but this bag is too small to take the spare batteries and other stuff in. They should have given you a little bit more space. It's bloody awkward.